Well, in a special meeting yesterday, the Greater Alexandria Economic Development Authority, or GATA, moved to terminate attorney Tiffany Sanders' contract. Here's the story. She's exceeded all those expectations. We haven't had one complaint, one grievance, one suit. This move adds to the whirlwind of changes in 2024, including the removal of two board members and the rescinding of executive director Angela Bernardo's contract. Mr. Upton has called this meeting and the Board of Ethics haven't even decided whether you should even be part of this board. Sparking more outcry from the community. And truly you all have a situation amongst yourselves. This district shall be administered and governed by a commission. You all know it, that Mr. Callis shouldn't be sitting on this board. And after your removal, Mr. Chair, Every time y'all do something racist, it only draws me closer to God to pray for people like you. And they came after us. And you know who they are. During the meeting, Alexandria City Council member Lee Rubin attempted to address the recent changes. If I win, that's fine. If I lose, that's fine. I don't, I don't need this job. And the confusion continued during the voting process. Mr. Upton? Yes. Dr. Lewis? Absolutely no. Mr. Katz? Never. Mr. Carroll? Yes. Mr. Patel? Yes. Mr. Morgan? No, ma'am. Mr. Callis, as I said, you're prohibited from voting. Well, he is. And Ms. Callis, please vote. No, we we have 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 to have have motion fails. Yeah. Yeah. It's an illegal vote and it does motion not count. carries. No, it doesn't. Next motion item. Motion, carries. motion fail. Next item, please. Motion carried. Um, motion did not carry. This is the legal Alice vote for motion to vote. Yeah. Uh, The next item on the agenda is for just for a public discussion about the transition committee. I guess it's the meeting. Many questions remain unanswered, but stay tuned for updates, and we do plan to attend Gata's next meeting in May.